Hi, and welcome to your MG4 Trophy Long Range. To get the best experience from your new electric vehicle, here's a short five step guide to get you on your way. Your MG4 comes with a real world range of 230 miles, a battery size of 62 kilowatt hours, and a maximum DC charging speed of 135 kilowatts. If storage is important to you, the MG4 has a boot capacity of 363 litres and with the seats folded down, 1177 litres. Every electric car is very different and there's no exception with the MG4 Trophy Long Range. Let's get you round the basics and on the road. Accessing your MG4 is effortless. Your pocket size key fob will allow you to access either remotely or keyless entry. As long as the key is on your person, you can open your doors by pressing the small button on the door handle. But if that's not for you, you can always use the buttons on the remote key fob instead. To lock your MG4, you can either use the button on the handle or the lock button on your key fob. In the cabin, it will feel very familiar. Before we get on to step two, let's get you comfy in the cabin first. To find your desired position in your seat, you can use this lever here to move the seat forward and backwards. And then you can use this second lever to adjust your back support. Once you've reached your desired position in the seat, you can adjust your steering wheel. This can be done using the lever underneath the steering column and you can move the steering wheel freely up, down, towards you or further away. To get the right temperature in the cabin, you can use the climate function here, which will give you full control on the screen to change your temperature. You can change your fan speed and your temperature. You can also switch on your heated steering wheel and also your heated front seats. Underneath the infotainment screen, you'll also see some buttons. And on the left is your button for clearing the front windscreen and the rear windscreen. Next, let's have a look at the controls behind the steering wheel. On your left stalk, you can find your headlight options and also your indicators. On the right hand stalk you'll have your functions for the windscreen wipers. Your MG4 also comes with blind spot monitoring which is great when you're indicating it will show you on the infotainment screen a video of your blind spots. Next let's head over to your driver's display. In the centre is your speedo which in this case is 0 miles per hour. Underneath that you have your battery percentage which in this case is 99% and 220 miles of range remaining. In the bottom left corner is your indicator to tell you which gear you have selected. In this case we have P for park selected. You will also see D for drive, N for neutral and R for reverse. Now you're familiar with the cabin, let's get you on to step 2. Let's show you how to start your MG4 Trophy Long Range and get you on the road. With no power buttons in sight, starting your MG4 is effortless. Just hit the brake pedal and your car will come to life. Both your infotainment screen and your driver's display will be ready to go in seconds. You're now ready to drive your car, so let's head over to step three. Your MG4 has an automatic transmission, so let's show you how to get into gear and get you on your way. Your gear selector is conveniently located underneath your infotainment screen on a floating dock. On your gear selector, you have a choice of P for park, which is on the top of the selector, R for reverse, N for neutral, and of course D for drive. To the right of the gear selector you also have your parking brake. Selecting the reverse gear will automatically activate your 360 degree reversing camera. Whilst driving the car you may wish to use the cruise control function. This can be activated by hitting the steering wheel icon on the left hand side of your steering wheel. You can use the toggle joypad to adjust the speed up to increase and down to decrease. So let's have a look at step four. We live a very connected lifestyle and we can do that in the car as well. Let's have a look at the MG4's multimedia system. First of all, let's get your smartphone connected to the car. On your infotainment screen, if you swipe left, you will see a screen full of tiles. In the bottom left corner, you're gonna have one which is called settings. Once you arrive in the settings menu, on the right hand side, you're gonna see some subheadings. Please click on Bluetooth. At this point, make sure on both the car and your smartphone, you have Bluetooth activated. Next, you're gonna move the menu upwards to reveal the pairing history and other devices. 
In other devices, you're going to see the car looking for additional Bluetooth devices to connect with the vehicle. We can now see the smartphone in this list and we're going to click on it to pair. You'll now be prompted with a code on both your smartphone and the car. Make sure both the codes match and then select pair. You will also be asked if you'd like to sync your favourites and contacts. And once this is done, your phone and the car will finally be paired. You can now make phone calls and use audio through the Bluetooth stereo. Your MG4 also has a built-in satellite navigation. This can be selected on the home screen on the right hand side. To navigate to your destination, select the magnifying glass in the top right corner. At this point you can either search an address or points of interest like EV chargers, parking etc. Using the keyboard on screen you can type in your address. Select that address and then you can navigate to that destination. Your MG4 also has wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Take your USB cable and plug the USB A end into the USB port. This can be found underneath the floating dock which has your gear selector on. Plug the other end into your smartphone and within a seconds you'll be prompted to activate CarPlay or Android Auto. Staying on the subject of smartphones, conveniently located next to the gear selector is a wireless charging pad for your smartphone. And that completes step four and that ties us nicely into the final step, which is how to charge your electric car. So let's review the three different ways we can charge your MG4 Trophy Long Range. All your charging happens in one place, which is on the passenger side left rear of the car. Unlocking the charge port can be done by unlocking the car. Press firmly on the charge door to open it. On opening, you'll see the charge port. The visible top half is for your AC charging. Remove the bung at the bottom will allow you to plug in a DC rapid charger. Let's discuss your charging options. There are three ways you can charge your MG4. The first is a domestic 3-pin Type 2 connector. This is the slowest option and will charge up to 2.5 kilowatts. This charging cable doesn't come with your subscription, but you can add it for a small charge. The more conventional way is a fast charge using a Type 2 to Type 2 connector, which will charge up to 7 kilowatts on your MG4. This cable comes as standard with your subscription. Your third and final option is a rapid DC charger. This uses a much larger connector than the two previously discussed. DC rapid chargers can normally be found alongside A and B roads and motorway services. Now we've discussed each of the three charger types, let's see how we plug them into your electric car. To access the charge port on your MG4, press firmly on the charger port door to open. If your AC charging, take your Type 2 to Type 2 connector and plug it into the AC port on your charge port. But don't forget to allow at least 30 seconds for your car to communicate with the charger. To monitor your charging, jump into your MG4 and look at the infotainment screen. Next, click on the charging tile. Your next screen will show your current charge rate, how much battery percentage you have remaining, and how many miles remaining. To finish your charge, you can either hit the stop charging button, or you can simply unlock the vehicle. At this point, you'll also be able to unplug your charging cable. The fastest charging, which is DC rapid charging, can be done in the same way as AC charging. You will need to remove the protective bung at the bottom of the charging port to allow additional space for the much larger DC rapid charger connector. To finish your DC rapid charge, you will need to hit stop on the DC charger unit first before you can unplug the connector. You are now set to go and you should have everything in your toolkit to drive your electric car.